how to silence your negative self-talk. First of all, let's appreciate one really important thing. Negative self-talk, normal stuff. It's a part of how we think. Now, it doesn't have to be a part of how we think, but it is something that's really common, it's normal, everyone experiences it from time to time. The reason why that's an important conversation is because if you don't know that, you start to think that you're the only one that is crazy, or you're the only one that talks to themselves, or you're the only one that is so negative inside your mind. Psychology explains that we have this thing called a negative bias, which means we are predisposed to seeing what is wrong more than what is right. So first of all, you wanna let yourself off the hook a little bit. Negative self-talk is a normal part of life. Now, let's explore how we can manage our negative self-talk so we can reduce it, so we can eventually remove it, so we can replace it with peace, with space, and then start to add in some encouragements, some positivity, some validation. That's where we're heading with this. So what's the first part of managing our negative self-talk? So the first part is a bit of a concept to understand. It's this, that you are not your self-talk, you just have self-talk. Now, this is a bit of a concept that sometimes is hard to get our head wrapped around, but it's a major part of starting to create a relationship with our self-talk. So you have self-talk, but you are not your self-talk. So what are you if you are not your self-talk? Well, you are the awareness that is noticing your self-talk. If you can get that, there is automatically now separation between you and your self-talk and you can create a relationship with it. I'll explain what I mean. Say for example, I have a notepad here. I am not my notepad, I have a notepad. This is like self-talk. I am not my self-talk, I have self-talk. Why is this important to understand? Well, once we get this concept, we can start to create a relationship with our self-talk and we get to choose the type of relationship with that we have. And I'll get to that one in a moment. So the first one is really understanding, I have self-talk, but I am not my self-talk. It's like, I have thoughts, but I am not my thoughts. I just have thoughts. I am the awareness that's noticing the thoughts. The second part of this is accepting our self-talk the way it is. Now, you might be thinking, why would I want to accept my self-talk? I, I want to change it, I don't like it. We'll get to that part. But before we get to changing it, we have to get to acceptance. Acceptance is before change. So we want to accept our self-talk the way it is. Now, the opposite of acceptance is to argue with ourselves. I wonder if you've heard this before, that whatever we resist, it persists. And so if you've got self-talk and it's saying, you're not good enough, and you're like, but I am good enough. And it's like, no, you're not. It's an argument that goes on inside your head and one of you is going to lose and so you lose. Right? There is no way out of an argument like that. So we want to accept our self-talk, accept it as it is. The third part of this is to develop a space of gratitude. There are only two major experiences that we can have in life. One is love, the other is fear. We can't be in a space of love and fear at the same time, impossible. So we want to create as much love space as we possibly can. This is what helps us grow. And one of the subsets of love is gratitude or acceptance. And so when our thoughts come up and they say, you're not good enough, you, why would you do this? You're gonna fail like you did last time. We can say, okay, well, that's not me. That's my self-talk, that's the first part. Okay, I'm gonna accept that that's actually happening and thank you. The power of the word thank you is huge to be able to have a negative thought come up. I remember my negative self-talk was, you can't do this. That was just the simplicity of it. You can't do this, you can't do this. And I would listen to it and I'd hold myself back. And then I learnt what I'm sharing with you right now and I go, ah, oh, there's that voice again. You can't do this. And so I go, well, that's not me. That's just my self-talk. Okay, I'm accepting that it's there. Thank you. You can't do this. Thank you. You can't do this. Thank you. Now, what we don't give any energy to eventually just goes away and dies out. If we give it a lot of energy, oh, I don't want that to be there. Now we're putting firewood on the fire. But instead, we use gratitude and acceptance to say, thank you so much. It's kind of like saying, thank you, I have a better idea. Thank you so much, I really appreciate your ideas, but I'm gonna head in another direction. 
And as a result of using this basic tool and technique, we start to create a relationship with our thoughts where we're no longer arguing with our thoughts. And now we're starting to move into congruence. As a result of that, eventually that negative self-talk just goes away. It takes a bit of time, takes a bit of practice, but eventually it goes away. Then there's the next part. Start to replace your negative self-talk with something helpful. Say to yourself, I reckon I can do this. I reckon I can pull this off. What if I can? What if I'm great at it? What if they're wrong? Try out some positive self-talk that you are going to start installing into your mind once we get rid of that negative stuff. Now, if you've taken away any value from this at all, if you've loved it, if you resonate with it, I'd like to encourage you to learn more about this. If you go ahead and click the link below, you will head over to another page where I'd love to tell you about a live global broadcast we're running, which is all about ideas like this, how we can apply them to our own lives and how we can use them in the lives of others, how we can teach this to other people to empower them to have an even greater life themselves. Go ahead and click the link below and I look forward to seeing you on the other side.